Hello everybody, my name is Nicolette and welcome back to my channel. This is the Frugal Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is another cash envelope stuffing for the week ahead. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So this is the first week of the school holidays here in the UK and I'm excited for the break but I'm also apprehensive about the fact that we might spend a lot more money than normal but it just means that I get to spend more time with my children and I get to have a bit of a relax and work and yeah it's it'd be good I'm excited to have just a bit of a change but it does mean that I have to be slightly more mindful of the budget ahead and we've got a summer holidays or school holidays sinking fund and I'll leave a link below to the latest video on that if you've not seen that but I do want to kind of balance that with not just using that and kind of maybe kind of looking at things that maybe don't cost us as much or kind of are less or even free kind of you know during the week but we'll see so this if you're new here this is my cash envelope binder it's just from amazon i'll leave it in below as i always do but let's get the cash envelopes out like i have already taken out all the change from these and put them in my savings challenges so these are all empty and i have five i have food petrol miscellaneous children and eating out actually there are two things that are happening in this next week which i will have to pay with on my card which isn't something i do very often uh, i try do try and use cash envelopes when i can those two things are i'm actually getting my hair cut and i am kind of pushing the bit out and getting some color put in my hair as well and that means that she doesn't accept cash so that'll have to be with card and also I am intending on buying a couple of things online and obviously uh, when that happens I tend to use my credit card just for extra security and then either pay it off just using what's in our bank account or I'll put some of this money back in there to pay for that, it depends how I feel at the time. But the, well let's go through these for now. So. Food this week should be fairly straightforward. I spent kind of just over £60 I think last week so I'm going to kind of keep that the same and I'm going to put £60 in the food envelope for now and that's just because I think that actually if I think about although now we're all at home we're all eating all meals at home again. No, I'll leave it at £60 for now and we'll see. So 20 40 so £60 is going to go in the food envelope there. I think that I should do is I've just got to be mindful of how much extra kind of summery things I buy I suppose. I think things like um, fruit and ice cream and things that you buy in the warm weather can really push the food budget up if I'm not careful. So I'll leave that for now at 60 I think that should do us. I'm just thinking about what I already have in the fridge and freezer and I think that should do us this week, which is a good start. Petrol. So it's tricky because obviously I'm not going to work kind of during the week, but I'm also going to more places and trying to think about what I have. I think I'm going to put £20 in the petrol limit, which is less than normal. And then I think the following week will be, will be the... 30 if not 40 it depends how low I let that get so I'm going to put 20 pound in the petrol envelope this week just because I'm not going to work and I don't feel like this first week we've got anything on particularly far away as such I'm going to put 20 pound in the petrol envelope there miscellaneous is going to be 20 as well last week I didn't so remember I said last week oh, I'm either going to spend it all or not at all um, I really didn't spend a lot from that last week at all so again and all the money that's left over has been transferred into those savings challenges but because I didn't spend a lot last week it means that then I'm going to spend more this week so £20 in miscellaneous there I feel like I need some cleaning stuff this week I think I need some more bathroom cleaning things um, so I've put £20 in there and that should do us for the week now the one that is different so I've got two left I've got the children's envelope and the eating out envelope and bearing in mind that it's the summer holidays and the children so i've got two children are going to be at home all the time with me or and or other people this is where actually their budget does increase because i want them to have fun basically and there are always a cost no matter how frugal or kind of just aware that you are of those there's always costs combined with having children and having days out and whatever else so actually I'm going to put £40 in the children's envelope this week, which I don't feel like I've done that in a long time. But £40 is going to go in there and my plan is, if nothing else, 
I think we'll end up going to soft play at one point. They keep asking to go there. Um, I've also found another kind of activity centre nearby. Oh, and thank you, those of you who commented on my last video asking where to take them in the northeast. I've kind of got a list of new places for us to adventure out to which I'm, I'm excited for because we always end up going to the same place. If you've got children, do you end up taking them to the same places all the time? Because I do. But I've now got a list of new places to take them. So £40 in a children's envelope might seem more than normal. That's because it is. But we've got, you know, I've got like entry fees and some, some of these entry fees, gosh, they seem to have gone up recently as well. So entry fees, kind of getting in places and drinks out if they want like drinks and stuff can all come from here or it's going to come from the eating out envelope which I'll talk about in a minute but I'm just I am just excited and also I just want to have some really nice fun happy times this this summer holidays but also being mindful of the fact that it still isn't or it still doesn't feel as safe as perhaps it should do but most of the places we're going to go are outside which I hope will help feel like it's okay to do but yeah so there's 40 pound in the children's envelope and then i'm going to just put this final 10 pound in here like i always do this is when it gets a bit tricky because if we go to somewhere and they want like ice cream or drinks or we're going to have lunch it kind of comes from different envelopes depending basically on how i feel the month is or the week is going so obviously eating out this 10 pound in there should be where it comes from but it really does depend on what we're doing as to whether I feel it comes from here or it comes from the children's envelope or it might even come from that summer holidays sinking from which is what it's there for as well. And I realise that might be confusing to some people watching this but honestly once you figure out a system that works for you so long as it works for you it's totally up to you how you use it. The, the joy with these cash envelopes is actually they can be fairly flexible. So say I've kind of I've already spent the ten pound in the eating out envelope because we've gone somewhere and got ice creams or they need a drink some water because it's boiling, but there's still money left in the children's envelope. The next time we're out, I could use money from the children's envelope to get them a drink, get them some fruit, get them their lunch, whatever. Because in theory, it's still going on them. It's just from a different kind of pot. Does that make sense? Rather than saying, oh, well, you can't have a drink or you can't have an ice cream because I've got no money left in my eating out envelope. Because I've got it from either a different envelope, like unprepared, or I've got that sinking fund in place as well. And even things like, so if we were out and I know that I've got some money left in my food envelope, I will take it from that and just shift them around. I'm still using cash, I'm still within kind of keeping to my own budget. I just might kind of borrow bits and pieces from different envelopes depending on what we're doing. And that might kind of feel like it's defeating the point by having separate categories, but the point behind this is I'm still not using my card for purchases, I'm still using the cash system that I love. And you know, this combined with my budget planner absolutely keeps me on track and will continue to do so throughout what is essentially a fairly expensive six weeks, isn't it? So that's how that's gonna work. So to recap, I've got 10 pound in eating out, 40 pound in children, I've got 20 pound in miscellaneous, 20 pound in petrol, and 60 pound in food. So they are fairly different this week, actually. I've kind of switched them around a bit, but I feel okay with that. And like I said, I'm looking forward to just a bit of a change of scene, a bit of a change of pace, um, and getting a chance to spend some time quality time hopefully creating memories for them with my family so how are your cash envelopes looking are you looking forward to the summer months do you find you spend more when it's warmer because i totally do let me know in the comments how you're getting on as always thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you again very soon